All right, it is, um, oh, sorry, get off my leg, fly. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it's like July 7th. Yes, yes, it's July 7th. Um, we decided to head back out of town. As fun as urban camping is, it does get kind of tiresome to always have to drive around and find a place to sleep. And I'm only staying in town mostly to hang out with my friends who like, yo-yo me back and forth. It's like I'm on joint custody, which is kind of funny. One wants me one weekend, one wants me the next, so we just hang out and do cool shit. But I decided to head back out into the mountains. I haven't been to Yosemite yet, so that's where I came. I am at Yosemite National Park. There are a couple free campsites here, which I am at one of them uh, along the river. I don't know the exact name because I already forgot, but I'll update that and you guys can look it up or whatever. I have to say it was a pain in the butt to get here. The road is very steep and you don't even try it with the car. Like maybe the first campsite you might be able to get to. After that, the roads get very steep, very rocky, very, very horrible. I was actually, it's, it's one of those drives where you're terrified. You're so thankful that you have to focus on staying on the road versus looking over your shoulder to realize if you glance out your window, it's a dead drop and you're going to die. Or if you look at your passenger side, you're probably like this far from grinding against the rocky mountainside. <laughs> I came up here, thankfully my truck is not a four wheel drive. Well, I'm not really thankful for that, but it is a manual transmission. So even though it's two wheel drive, it's a full size Chevy, but it's manual transmission. So I got down here basically rolling in first gear and then climbing the mountain, I mostly did it in first and second gear. Go, oh, Coke, go extremely slow. Do not try to hurry and good God, don't sightsee. If you're gonna sightsee, stop. Cause if you get distracted for a second, you're gonna die. Um, my truck got a little messy getting here. A lot of stuff got shook it up. Yeah, it's, um, I'm gonna clean it. I stayed the weekend with a good buddy of mine and he likes to go shopping and when we go shopping he thinks I need everything which I don't he doesn't realize I don't have much room to put everything so there's chips in there and there's crackers and cookies and lots and lots and lots of angry orchard ale like there's a six pack one's in the cooler there's a couple in the cooler already there's a bottle of whiskey that we didn't finish over the weekend so I get all that so I might drink tomorrow, not tonight, because I'm not feeling so good from last night. Don't question me. And of course, of course, it was really, really hot. And we are actually about to go explore. This is our campsite. Um, there's our bear box. Whoever was here before us, for whatever reason, decided that the bears want to eat their firewood. So they filled the bear box up with firewood. Which is fine, I have nothing to put in there anyway, but weirdos. Um, there is bathrooms over here, but I can't see them. They're way over there, but once you get in, get to the area and you try to open it and look, someone's piled the bathrooms with bags of trash. I mean, it's floor to ceiling. It looks like a hoarder's hut. It's so funny, which makes me thankful that I have my little girly pee style and my own little toilet. So I don't really technically need to use their bathroom. Knowing me, I will probably dig a hole. I did the last campsite. I went way out in the woods, dug a little hole, put my toilet seat over top. I know some people are like, ew, well, ew yourself. Um, here we go. This is the river. I forgot the river. It's very, so awesome. Look at the river. We're gonna explore it here a little bit, let Boris pull down. It gets deeper the further down you go, it opens back up. When I was driving up here, I caught off to the side of the mountain, side road. There was a, like a line of people in the river. They were all sitting in a little COVID area next to a rock, just chilling in the water. And I was so envious. I was like, oh my God, I want to do that so bad. I missed a couple campsites. They were closed. So I thought for sure I wasn't going to find a campsite near the river. And I was going to be so sad that the only way to get down to the river would have to climb like the mountain cliffs or hike all the way back down to get to the one trail area, which, I mean, campsite, river. I kept driving, 
just to see. I kept driving. And thankfully I did and I didn't turn around like I wanted to because I thought I missed the turn off. And I'm, I'm at the river. I mean, this is so awesome. So my last campsite, I managed to stay only four days. I wanted to stay a little longer, but honestly, I got so bored. The view was beautiful, don't get me wrong. But with no cell phone service or anything else, there was no river or anything. You were just basically in the woods. You can only hike around the woods for so long and stay entertained. I drew pictures I wrote in my book. I took notes and played with my poi and listened to music. Like I said, the solar panel, I can run my electricity. But oh, I got so bored. I needed people. So on the fourth day, we ran away. The road. Actually, you can kind of see the road up there. That's one part of the road right there. That little flat yellowishy line going across is, yeah, it's part of the road. And see, if you go off road, you're basically just. That's it. What is above me? What's the school? Um, I'm kind of worried about the bear boxes. Because if they put bear boxes out here, that means there's bears. And I guess Yosemite National Park would probably have bears. It would only make sense. Look at that tree. It's been all burnt. How neat. Oh, bears, yeah. So I'm hoping not to see any. Well, maybe see one from a distance would be really neat. But none that close. I don't know how many days I'm going to last here. My record was four. Four days at that one place, and there was nothing to do there. Here, I have a river to play in. I can go further there. That way, there's another campsite way down that way. Um, I don't think I'll wipe that far. That's a very far walk. But it's very nice here. I've got a couple hobbies and stuff I can work on, like putting my blog together. I don't need the internet to put my blog together. Uh, just hope nobody calls me for a job while I'm out, because I'm going to be here a few days and straight to voicemail. Thank you, boys. It's so cute over there sitting on the tailgate like a good doggy. I'm trying to give you a shot of my view here. It's not like a bear box full of wood. Come on, people. It's already kind of late in the afternoon. I'm probably going to set up my tents. I don't know if tonight or tomorrow. I don't really sleep in them anyway. I just It's a nice place to change and get cleaned up. There's room to actually stand and move. But yeah, this is, uh, this is my, camping, my camping spot for free camping and my little truck getaway and my little California adventure. I wish I would have thought of blogging all this through Disneyland. It would have been really cool, but I didn't. Disneyland's awesome, by the way. Like, really, really awesome. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, let's go get the doggy and we'll check out the table. Hey, look, look, my name's here. Look. I've never been here before, but look, there's my name. Alright, Boris. You ready to go explore the river with me? Let's go see what that's all about.